What's going on guys? Ray 20 here and uh, today we got the 2016 Tony Stewart Final Brickyard Race version. So I'll go ahead and go over the box. Tony Stewart there, you gotta render the car. Top. Side in the back there, you got a different logo. Always a racer, forever a champion. And on the side, Tony Stewart, Mobile One Summer Sell Down, one of 457. So not a lot of these made. Uh, in fact, there's only 120 of the elites made. So uh, yeah, not a lot of them made. So I would definitely, I mean, it's it's a pretty darn cool car. I would definitely highly recommend picking it up. So we'll go ahead and start from the front. So of course he didn't win the race, but um, Lionel, in my opinion, needs to do this a lot more. Just create more race versions that aren't necessarily raced wins. I thought this was such a cool deal that they uh, did this for, uh, for his final Brickyard. So, uh, gave us a pretty nice race version. Uh, I know Dale Jr., they're making a special car for his 600th career start. And uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I would, I would love to see that as a race version. Of course, Logano had his 300th start and he won in that race, so hopefully we get a race version of that. But uh, definitely would love some more excuses to get some uh, just some race versions that uh, not, aren't necessarily wins because uh, like this one it's pretty darn cool so like I said from the front so uh, he did get some damage here on the front so uh, I guess we'll start right there from the nose so so what happened I believe it was a restart or something like that and he got in the back of somebody and uh, there you go you can see the damage here on the right front so, uh, let's see, yeah, that's just kind of, I believe it, on the real car it was just punched in. But, uh, yeah, so that messed up the hood and everything, so ended up taping the hood down on the sides, which is pretty darn cool. So, uh, see, so yeah, you got tape all the way around there. And uh, another look at the hood, or the, uh, the nose there. And the hood. Go ahead and lift up the hood. So you get the engine. And already you got a couple logos. So down the left side, like I said, very, very cool deal with Lionel. Uh, props to them for, for getting this done. Uh, they, they released the 164, and a lot of us were scared because uh, the 164 was not a race version. Then all of a sudden we thought the, the 124 wasn't going to be. But uh, they came through at least for the 124. Uh, kind of sucks. I know there's a lot of 164 collectors out there that I guess were hoping for the race version for the 164. But... Uh, but yeah, going down the side, got a lot of different marks and stuff around here. Uh, down the left side, you got the Chevy Summer sell down. I didn't even know what that was at first until I took the car out. But, uh, but yeah, you got a lot of build up, rubber build up around the fender there. And a bunch of stuff going down here on the quarter panel. Go ahead and go to the top of it. You can got a couple different uh, rubber marks and stuff like that up here. A couple different little marks there on the... Uh, the roof, roof flaps function. So to the back bumper, a mobile one. 14 on the deck lid, Chevy. Summer sell down. DIN number is 110 for me. And you got the fuel cell there in the back. So down the right side, basically pretty close to the same as the other side. In terms of just race marks and this and that. Uh, really, really, really cool looking uh, car. Like I said, uh, you got some sort of Something going on here down the side. It almost looks like the um, the the race versions from Victory Lane when they uh, got a bunch of coke or whatever flying around in Victory Lane. Just a lot of the marks down the side. I'm not 100 sure what it is, but uh, yeah, you can definitely see some some marks there around the number. But uh, yeah, there it is. Coming back to the front of the car, you can see some. Stuff around the uh, the right front there, but uh, but yeah, there's another good look at the damage there on the right front. So uh, yeah, it didn't come out too terrible, but too terribly bad. But uh, but yeah, and right there it looked like he got in the back of somebody and uh, messed up the whole front. But uh, well, there you have it. Like I said, I said it once and I'll say it again. Lionel, we need uh, we need more of these these race versions that aren't necessarily race wins. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, obviously, my favorite, uh, pretty much my favorite thing that Lionel produces is the race versions, uh, which, uh, you know, of course, now they got the damage going on a lot of them, and uh, really, really cool what they do with the race versions, so uh, it would be great to 
to get a couple race versions every once in a while like this one that uh you know that aren't necessarily raced wins uh, of course we got uh recently the gordon the gordon final raced version uh, i believe they're doing that for tony stewart i'm not 100 percent sure if that's going to be a race version or not i i think it is don't quote me on that because i could be wrong but uh but yeah there it is so uh like i said uh not many produced so i would definitely highly recommend picking one up and uh there you have it. Uh, that's going to go hopefully next to my Sonoma win. And then we'll get the Homestead car for Tony Stewart's final race. And uh, try to get those three together. But there it is. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out down below in the description. Uh, i got my Instagram page down there. I post all my new diecast pickups on there. So if you want to check that out, that is down below. But like I said, appreciate you all. And I'll see you all in the next video.